Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know I have been gone for a little while. Um, I had a few um, stressful <laughs> um, sort of rotations in my residency and so I had to take a bit of a step back um, from shooting videos. Um, but I did want to come back and do a 2023 planner stack. I've been seeing these videos like all over YouTube and even some on Instagram and I was like, oh, I really want to join in on the fun so i decided to film this video for you guys before i um, drive back home for um for the holidays so i just want to make this video really quickly um probably not too quickly because i do tend to ramble on but hopefully i don't um so my planner stack does consist of five um well i wouldn't call it a planner stack i would call it like a planner slash journal stack um because i do technically only have one real planner. Um, the rest are technically journals or notebooks um, or memory keepers. Um, and so I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, like I said, I do have five of them, um, but this is very manageable for me. Um, and plus it's, it's very like, I don't feel stressed having five notebooks, journals, planners in my system. Um, so definitely like do what's best for you. Um, I see some people have 12, some people have only one. And I think what matters is that it's working for you and you're not having to change your life around to fit it in a certain system, if that makes sense. And so this is what works for me. And so I'll get started. And so I'm gonna move these off to the side um, and I'll talk about them sort of after I talk about my main planner. So this is my main planner. It is housed in the, um, I think it's 2021 um, Hobonichi Liberty Fabrics um, cover. I just think it's so, so beautiful. I love the colors on this. Um, and I was able to get it secondhand. Um, if you saw my previous video. Um, and so yeah, I was able to get a secondhand off of Instagram. Somebody on Instagram. And so it just opens up like this. It's kind of like a wallet sort of um, sort of style. Um, this is really how I, I keep it. I tend to keep it like this um, on my desk. And so if you saw my previous video, I do have the Mahaharata um, Hobonichi Weeks. Um, and then here I do, I did end up keeping the pencil board that came with it. It's like this, it has like this tiger's like eye. It's kind of like scary. Um, but I did end up keeping it because I figured I could just cover it with sticky notes and it wouldn't be that bad. And plus I really love having a sticky note, like, sorry, not a sticky note, a dashboard sort of like on the side here. Um, and so, yeah, I use this as a dashboard. I keep like the inbox things I have to do. I still have to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. Um, and then also like a brain dump place for um, things that I'm gonna add to my Hobonichi weeks. On the back, I just keep um, some extra sticky notes as well. Um, this sticky note was actually um, printed using cloth and, sorry, sorry, not cloth and paper. Sorry, it's a cloth and paper sticky note, but it's printed using the Sterling Ink, um, her uh, free post-its that she sends in her freebie, freebies every month. So that's what I used, I use that here. Um, and then on the sides here, so I don't keep anything in the zip pocket here because I just, I like it to remain flat, but there's a zipper if you want to keep like stickers and stuff in here. Here I keep a notebook, one of the Hobonichi, um, like very slim grid notebooks. I just like brained up in here really. Um, it's actually almost finished, but I have, I have a packet of more. Um, so I just keep that tucked in there. And I also keep this small notebook here as well for other important tasks, um, you know, things I have to write down, um, goals, I don't really use it for anything in particular, but it's just nice having a notebook around. Um, and so I just keep them both tucked in here. And so this is basically my EDC, my everyday carry, because I can, whenever I travel, like for example, I'm, I'm driving home tomorrow, um, I can just take this and I can be okay without having the rest of these journals because I can use these notebooks to sort of add what I would add to these journals, which I'll talk about later. So this is basically like my everyday carry. If I have this, I'm good. So I'm just going to put this back. That's how I keep it here. And it closes fine with having these two notebooks here. Um, this is, like I said, this is the weak size. And then this is the A6 size. So actually, the A6 size actually fits in here. The A6 size notebook. Um, so that's nice. And then I have this here on the side. And then I have my um, my weeks here. Um, I haven't done too much decoration. It's still like in progress. But so far, I have added just a little bit of deco in here. Um, this I got off of um, Pinterest. This image I got off of Pinterest. Pinterest, this um, uh, sort of journaling card, the moon journaling card is from, um, oh, I think it's, I think it's planning what's Alo or Alo's creative corner. I'm not sure if she changed her name or it's one of those, um, one of those names, but uh, she sells like these beautiful moon, um, like journaling cards, I guess. Um, and so I love them. And then here I have, um, I just keep some sticky notes here. I'm still working on the deco here, which is why I just covered it with sticky notes. Um, I haven't done too much. I've done a little bit of, um, 
like weeks planning, but I've, I've had, like I said, very busy weeks. So I haven't been able to dedicate too much time to this, to the system. But um, I am going to do a flip through of my previous Hobonichi weeks. Um, so that way you guys kind of get a picture of how I um, tend to decorate my spreads. But that's for another video. Um, let's see. In the back here, I also have another um, pencil board with some of um, the cloth and paper sticky notes that have the sterling ink um, printed freebie design. Um, so I keep that in the back here just in case like I want to write extra notes that I don't necessarily want to put in my notes section of my Hobonichi Weeks. Um, but just like right here. Um, and in the back I have this, um, it's this card that says it's... Um, it says this planner belongs to and it says my name um i had it for, i got it from um an etsy shop her name is la noemi um she is i think based in somewhere in france i want to say paris but i'm not 100 percent sure um her shop is currently closed right now i hope she opens soon because I, I really need more journaling cards but she has great cards here i keep um just kind of like these sticky notes for some certain tasks that are recurring uh, whether it's weekly, bi-weekly, and so I just like to keep it um, in the back here just in case I need to put it in my planner. And this is the cloth and paper um, ruler. And then what else do I have here? So I have the um, basic stencil, the green one from Hobonichi here, and then I have the journaling cards that came with the, both the planner and the, um, the actual cover just tucked here. And then this is the ribbon that I cut off of the, um, the Alice Creative Corner because basically this um, sort of drawing card that comes with like this ribbon attached. I cut it off because I wanted it to fit here and I wanted this to lay flat so that when I'm writing on this surface, it's flat. Um, so I cut the ribbon. I just cut, kept the ribbon here because I, th I like the color of it. Like I said um, in my previous video, the previous owner had cut off the pen loop, so I just keep the pen sort of tucked on the side here. I will do a full flip through of my um, of this week's when I finish setting it up. Um, I tend to, like I'm a creative person, but... Um, <laughs> I tend to kind of let my emotions guide my creativity. So if I'm feeling in the mood to decorate, then I'll decorate. Now I'll, I'll decorate a lot too. Um, but I've just kind of been in a very busy state. A lot of things are changing in my life. So I haven't been able to decorate this as much as I would have liked to. Um, and plus with the holidays and going home, I'm gonna um, be away. So uh, maybe I'll get some deco done when, I'm, when I go home, but um, we'll see. And so yeah, when it's kind of like done in a sense, um, I'll definitely film a video of that. So yeah, that is my everyday carry. It's what I bring with me all the time and I love it so, so much. I am thinking about getting another Hobonichi Weeks cover just because the system works well for me, but, um, that's TBD to be, to be decided. So yeah, so that is my, um, everyday carry. Next I have my, um, my language journal. Um, so like I said in my previous video, I do, um, I am trying to learn both Spanish and French and um, I do want to be more consistent with that. Um, I was really proud of my progress last year, even though I had a, a language planner that I didn't use as much as I would have liked to. Um, I did stay consistent using Duolingo and actually learning these languages. So um, I did want to get another week this year. This is a different week from the one that I unboxed um, in my previous video. I did have the purple Hobonichi Weeks Mega. Um, I just, I don't know, I kind of wanted something different and also, I, I was really curious about the sneaker weeks as well. And so this is actually a Hobonichi sneaker weeks. Um, it's the navy blue color. Um, I actually got this image from um, from Pinterest. And so I just printed it out to size and I just um, attached it or put it inside this um, cover. So this Hobonichi week sneaker cover is from Chic Sparrow. Um, it's, I think it's their weekly cover. Um, and I will say it doesn't fit like a glove because there's like... If you notice here, there's like some bending here of the book. I need to get like a, hair, a blow dryer and like use heat to kind of stretch it out a little bit. So it's not like a perfect fit, but um, for right now, I think it's fine. Um, yeah, I think that's it for the cover. And then here I, I do have the Hobonichi, um, oh, what do they call it? I think it's like a book band. It just basically keeps the book like shut um, and then allows me to carry two um, writing utensils with me. And so I have two highlighters. And so I tend to use red or pink when it comes to Spanish learning and then blue when it comes to French. Um, and then I have a little Ollie clip here. I think this is the small size here. And so I do keep the book band just around it just to keep it closed. And so I'll just take it off for you. All right. And then, um, so this is the cover. I, I love it so much. It is, um, like I said, from Pinterest. It's this beautiful um, representation of how language is all interconnected in this beautiful big tree. Um, and so I just really thought it was fitting for this journal because I want to be somebody who speaks multiple languages, not just to brag about it because that's absolutely useless, but 
to be able to connect with others. Um, and I think that is like the best way, like learning about tradition, food, um, different aspects of culture. I think the gateway to do that a lot of times is through language. And so that's so why I love language learning. And I love this cover as well. And so my language week, so it's kind of hard to explain how I have it divided, but basically um, I keep half of the book is dedicated towards um, my Spanish learning. And it's basically the Hobonichi dedicated space for the weeklies. Um, that space is dedicated for Spanish. I then replicate that same sort of design um, into the notes pages to make a weekly for only my French learning. I also use some of the notes pages for general language notes um, to keep a Spanish and French index so I can be able to find information very quickly. And then I also um, have notes pages for both languages. And so I'll, I'll kind of talk about that here. It's, this again is not finished. Like it's not finished, it's set up. So there are a lot of things that are left undone, but I didn't want to put off this video just for that. And so I did want to show you guys. And so here, like there's absolutely no deco here, <laughs> um, but I do have the Midori um, index clips here. These um, sticky um, sort of bookmarkers actually came with the sneaker weeks. These um, numbered um, tabs, they're like, yeah, numbered tabs with the monthlies. Um, that is Midori, um, I don't know what they call them, and I think index tabs, Midori index tabs in gray. And then here I do have a red and a blue um, sort of page flag. And those are actually got from, um, from Amazon. And so I don't have any deco here. My plan for the um, the yearly overview is to sort of mark out which days that I study just French, days that I study just Spanish, or days that I study both. Like I said, um, red is for Spanish, so if I do study Spanish that day, in Spanish only, I will highlight the box red. If it's only French, blue, and if it's both, then I'll do purple. How I, I tend to use this monthly is based off of like a new Whatever I study that day, whatever I learn, I just put that word there. I usually try to keep it to just one word. Um, I may do phrases, especially with French, because I'm a little bit more advanced in French than I am Spanish. I just like highlight it. So that way um, I can look over um, the month and see the new words that I learned. And then I kind of want to put like either a Spanish review or a French review down here. Let's see. So um, earlier December, it wasn't really... I didn't have too much time to like dedicate to this, but I've been a little bit more consistent. And it's kind of the same way how I did it in my previous um, language notebook. Um, I use this as like a notes page for things that I learned throughout the week. I highlight new things, and then I try to use one of the new words that I learned into a sentence or two that kind of summarizes or has something to do with either my day or something interesting about the word that I learned. Like I said, I use this side for Spanish. Um, so basically the main week's size where it's dated, I use that for Spanish. And then next I have my notes pages here. I divvied up the pages to divide it into a Spanish index, Spanish notes, general language notes, a French index, French weekly, which is basically a replica of the Hobonichi weeks, um, dated portion, or I should say weekly portion. And then I have a, a place for French notes. So this is my Spanish index. Basically I'm going to write down, um, like categories, like for example, if I study reflexive verbs and I'm gonna write page so-and-so reflexive verb or week so-and-so reflexive verb, that's why I can, that way I can easily go back and see um, and um, review my notes on that when I'm kind of a little bit more advanced, hopefully in my studies. Here is Spanish notes. I keep it tabbed here with a red tab. And I just put things that I learn and I wanna look back on. Um, I still have a lot of editing to do here, but um, yeah. And then these are my Spanish notes. So I, I dedicate 50, at least 50 pages towards Spanish notes. And then here I have general language notes, just things that I want to keep in mind about general language. There's so many YouTube videos that are awesome about different ways to learn languages, the ways that work for other people. And so I like to have a place, a central place to keep those ideas. And so I'm going to put them here. I have about 10 pages for that. And then let's see. Next starts my um, French weekly. Oh, actually, it's my French index next. Same thing as the Spanish one. And then my French weekly actually starts on this day. And so I, it's kind of hard to explain. I think I should explain this when I actually do a flip through of this notebook, which I will do in the future. Um, but I'm still waiting for some date stickers here so I can like write the dates, but I've kind of like mapped it all out. So I know which day is on which page. And so that's why I already started like writing some of the things that I've been learning. Um, and keeping it here, but I will talk about that later. Um, and then this is basically gonna be the replication of the weeks. I'm gonna use date stickers to do so. 
I actually have it. Actually, let me show you because I my previous weeks that I bought for this purpose, I did start decorating and I put the date stickers. Let me show you how it looks. I'm just give me one second to get that book. So this is kind of how it would look. Um, I, have, I got these um, these date stickers from Amazon. They're really, really pretty. They're like floral. And the reason why I hesitated to put it here, because I don't know if it matches like my vibe, but I'm, I'm just gonna add it, I think, because I can't find any other like washy date stickers that are, that fit kind of my aesthetic. Um, and so these are the stickers. And so they kind of fit in like six, um, six rows and they fit um, nicely within the margin that Hobonichi has delineated. Um, and so that's what I plan to to put in here. I just have to wait for those stickers to come in. And so, yeah. Um, and then I think that's pretty much it for this. I think then I have my uh, my um, notes in the back. Mm, the blue tab. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, yeah, French notes. And then, yeah, so here I'll just write like different notes. I plan to keep like a sticky note here and like um, like a note card here just for things that I learned that week that I want to study. Um, but we'll see how that goes. And then I'm going to try to find some way to decorate like these inner parts. I think I want to put like, I don't know, conjugations. Or maybe I'll just put like the, my reason for learning these languages, which is um, mostly like because of family. My fiance is um, from a Spanish speaking country and my family actually originated from a French speaking country. And so that's my reasons for learning. So I may just put like images of both of those um, like sort of people in my life uh, as like inspiration for me to learn. But that was very, very long-winded. Sorry about that. But yeah, that is my language planner. I will have a more detailed video about it because I know my last video, people had a lot of questions, comments about it. Um, and so I will make a video for that as well. So those are my two, um, so my one planner and then my, um, my language journal. I can't believe I have three more journals to still talk about, but we will discuss. And so, okay, let me go with this one. So this is a five minute journal. Um, if you are around the journal YouTube space, then you've probably heard about this. Um, it is, oh, I have my, my phone number there. I hope I didn't show that. Um, it is a journal that is supposed to, um, have you living a more happier life and it's based in gratitude. Um, so basically, let me flip to like a blink. Yeah. So first of all, let me say this is completely undated, which is amazing because some mornings I'm just so busy. I don't have time to do this, but it takes five minutes, honestly. Um, so it's undated and in the beginning they'll have either a weekly challenge or quotes, which I love. I love quotes. Um, I love having a daily quote. I think it just sort of centers my day. And then you write three things that you're grateful for. So in the morning, you write three things that you're grateful for, three things that would make the day great, and then you write a daily affirmation. And then you come back at nighttime, and then you can read, or you can write your um, highlights of the day, and then also write what you learned today. Um, I've been using this journal for, oh my gosh, it had to be before medical school. I would say maybe 2017, 2016. Um, and so I have stacks of them, um, but I remember they used to, I think down here it used to be, how could I have made today better or something like that. But I think that's kind of, it's rooted in a sort of negative mind space. It's like something that you could do to, it's basically blaming you for a reason why the day didn't go as planned. Um, but this is a lot better. Like what did I learn today? So it kind of flips it. Even if you do have a negative experience, you've learned something, whether you learned, um, to avoid certain situations, certain people, um, or you learned to sort of channel that or have a um, safe outlet for that negative emotion. And so it's more rooted in a positive mind space. And so I really love this journal. Um, I probably won't finish it before the end of the year. I have a couple more pages. Um, and so uh, I'll probably have to keep this until, I think I'll probably finish it by the end of January though. And sometimes I'll like mark pages that, of quotes or days that really like stick out to me. And so I just keep that with um, a little post-it in the back. So that's my five minute journal. Very, very simple. It's about, I think it's like 20, 25 maybe up to $30 on Amazon, but they also have the $5, sorry, five minute journal website. I can't remember the exact name of it, um, of the website, but they sell this journal there as well. And I have the, it's, this is the earth green color, which I absolutely love. I love green. Okay. So that's that. That is my journal. My monthly, it's kind of like a morning pages, not really morning pages, but like a morning gratitude sort of journal is how I kind of categorize it in my head. So next I have my two A6s and let's do this one first. So I'll, I'll talk about this one on, on the top. And so this is the A6 um, notebook from Nanami Paper Co. Um, otherwise known as Cafe Note. I was just thinking, I was like, I know it has two names. I think, it's, I think the book is called Cafe Note, but the place that I got it from, I think their website is called Nanami. 
or did I get this on Amazon? I can't remember. But um, yeah, so this is, it's basically um, a Tomoy River um, notebook. Um, I think they changed their paper from Tomoy River to like a, I don't, I can't, I don't know if it's Sanzen paper or it's some other, but some other very thin type of paper. And I love this paper. I love Tomoy River paper, which is why I love my Hobonichi Weeks, but this is not, um, not too bad. Um, I will say though that the paper, the paper is actually white. I fall under the unpopular category in the sense that I actually like yellow paper. I know it's kind of weird, um, but Hobonichi's, I know this is a total aside, but Hobonichi's reasoning for using yellow paper is, is from my understanding is so that you're able to write in nature and like the sunlight hitting white paper is like, it's kind of stressful for the eyes. So if you have it hitting like yellow paper, it's less stress on the eyes. Um, and so I actually prefer writing in yellow paper, even though I guess it has nothing to do with me because I never plan outside. So, but just an aside, I actually like yellow paper more, but um, this is an A6 Nanami Paper Co. Um, or Cafe Note journal. On the cover, I used um, Sterling Ink Sticker. It's the one with the um, bird and flowers. I think this is so whimsical, so beautiful. I purchased like four of these, <laughs> um, but I think it's so beautiful. And then here, it's this is a Dreamer um, uh, sticker from Papery Planning. And so this is a very simple notebook. Um, I use it as my commonplace book. So I put quotes in here. I put um, just a book, book reviews as well. Um, just anything that I'm feeling about not journaling. I would say, yeah, I guess a little bit of journaling in here. Journaling in an artistic way, I tend to put it here. So that, that includes quotes, book reviews, morning pages I'll do in here sometimes. Um, and I haven't shown this on this channel yet, uh, but I do keep a um, Hobonichi A6 pencil board as well so I can like know which day I'm on. And so if, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're somehow familiar with Sterling Inc. She's like a big name in the like journal planner space. Um, I use her stickers in here because I love the way that it looks. She actually has a common planner where she um, kind of walks through um, her commonplace book, which is in conjunction with her planner. And I kind of took a lot of inspo for, for, from her when I was designing this. So uh, it's heavily influenced by her. Um, and so these are some of the things I'd like to put in here. My morning pages, book reviews, quotes, and then also like therapy notes. Um, and so, yeah. So the way she decorated hers, she like puts this like, um, the calendar spread on one page and then she kind of goes on to that month and every month that changes she'll put like a new one I tried doing that in the beginning but I don't really like it I don't think um, so I may stop doing that and plus I don't really need this to be divided into months um, I just kind of need it to be a place for me to express different things that I think I want to keep forever um, and so I'll just do a quick flip this so I don't reveal too much information information but um, this is kind of how it looks so far I love it so much yeah and that's kind of it so far and I have done some pre-decorations here and so these are um stickers from the October sub sub kit um so I actually got the October um stickers in accident <laughs> but I ordered something else I actually ordered these stickers and um I think for some reason it was a mix-up and I ended up getting the October stickers but Catherine is so nice like she's a the woman who runs Sterling Inc. She's so nice. She let me keep the stickers and she still sent me the, um, she let me keep these stickers and she, let, and she sent me the correct ones. So I was like, how, how am I going to use these stickers? And so I decided to make like a commonplace book. And so I really, really love this. I, I think it's so beautiful and I'm going to look back on this and like love the fact that I did this. Um, and so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I have this journal for. Um, and then I just keep this to um, hold my page where I'm at. But then also I did want to show because in my previous video I did have, um, I did unbox the um, Ojitsuke um, A6 cover. And so I did put the clear cover on it. I like this. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I want to keep this. I don't know. I just, I, I'm craving something different. I think I'll just hold it, hold on to it and like put it in my stash, buy a new cover for this and then um, kind of go from there. But I don't know, I'm still kind of torn about a cover because I just love the way that this book feels. Like this book is so, so nice. Oh, and I love the color of it. The burgundy is like so, so nice. Um, but here, this is technically where the journal is housed. Um, so here, this is also from La Noemi from Etsy. Her shop is down for a bit, but hopefully she comes back. And so I just have, um, it's advice from an old tree. Um, something that helps me keep, um, I don't know, helps me take care of myself, my body, my mental health as well. Um, actually, was, my um, my fiance sent it to me when we were very early in our date, dating stage, and so I actually put this on a card, and it reminds me of him when I when I look at it. So I keep that here. This is from Sterling Inc. 
from the um so the um, the stickers that I got. I do keep the Hobonichi stencil here, the uh, yellow one, because I like using these stars here for when I write my book reviews. And then I also keep a notebook here, like an A6 notebook. I love doing this because, like I said, this is like it's decorative, and I I want it to look pretty. I'm not gonna lie, I want it to look pretty. Um, and so whenever I come across a quote and I'm not really in like the journaling mindset or the decorative sort of mind space, I just write it um basically like messily in here <laughs> or however way like whatever and then i transfer the information from there to here all nice and pretty um and so that way this stays nice this i can basically use as like a throwaway sort of notebook but it's, it's great for what it is and it's super super cheap so i don't i don't um i think it's worth it for me um oh, let me just down here so i'm able to grab it easily put this in here and then here i have one of the um aloe creative corners one of her um like uh bookmarks and as you can see here's the ribbon and the the rivet here in gold and this is i can't remember which colors these are but they're so so pretty and i think they match this very nicely i love that i love that combination so i just keep it tucked in here i need to find more uses for this because i don't know I just i feel bad that it's like hidden like that but it fits so nicely here it's the only place where i can see the two moons so yeah i keep this in here for now um well actually as of right now, I'm taking it out, um, but this is where it's housed so that the journal can stay in good in good condition. I also have a clear cover that I put on this as well, but um, I'm not sure where that is at the moment. So I'll just keep this like this for now. Okay, I hope I'm still in frame. Okay. And then last but not least, my most precious, precious journal. I love this so much. This is my Hobonichi five-year um, Techo in the size A6. I this is my first year using it so it's actually 2022 to I want to say 2026 um it is what I use as my memory keeper um it's such a beautiful beautiful book I love using this I used it every day I would say maybe 90 percent of the year uh, I will say some days I was super busy I do have to have to do a little bit of back planning or back um memory keeping I guess <laughs> um but um I have no problem doing that the way i do it is i use this in the evenings um after my day has um like passed i um write about what happened that day how i felt about the day um things that i want to remember um i don't really write too much about like world news about it about in here unless it's like something like super big even in those situations i tend to keep it like a small like like a small sentence or something because i do want this to mostly be about me and my growth um and yeah i uh, this book will actually be very very special for me because um between the years of 2022 to 2026 i will i have already graduated medical school and i will basically chronicle my life as a resident which is a doctor in training and by the time i finish this book i will actually be an attending um and so i think this will be very special to have when I am an attending physician and looking back at my time as a resident, seeing my, um, my successes, my failures, my, um, the things that I've learned, the way I've grown, um, all while keeping a record of all of that, in addition to like my feelings, my sentiments, life events outside of medicine too. So I do want, I, this is not only about medicine, this is about everything that has to do with my life in this small A6 format. I love it so much. I know I talked a lot about it, but it's, it's really an amazing, an amazing journal. And the fact that I'm able to look at it next year and kind of read what I wrote or what I did on that exact day one year ago, two years ago, three years ago, five years ago, like that is a really, really nice treat to have. So I do highly, highly recommend this book. I know there's other types of five-year um, journals out there. I know Midori has one. Um, there's a couple that I don't know exact names for, but um, I just think having a five-year journal, no matter what brand it is, it's such a nice thing to have. It's reflective as well. Um, and so I think it's, it's, it's very nice. And so Enough of me rambling about that, but I do have this journal. Um, I do have it in the, is it called nude? Um, it's, it's like this nude color um, cover from Hobonichi itself. Um, it has patinaed a little bit. I do have like a watermark somewhere. I think it's like up here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on camera, um, but um, I love the way that this feels. It's, it's, it's amazing. And then I do have a pen here that I keep just clipped to the side here and it stays. It doesn't move it doesn't the, the pen will not fit in here like it's way too way too thick um but the clip works just fine i think the home and actually designed it like that and so i do here i do have the same like kind of sticker from something i just think the sticker is just so beautiful it just reminds me of growth and um 
I just think it's so beautiful. And then here I put, believe in yourself, life is beautiful. Again, these stickers are from papery planning or papery planning, excuse me. And so I'm not going to turn to a page that um, actually wrote in because that's very, very private. Um, but I do keep some tabs here to um, remember like certain days that I want to remember or um, maybe something happened that day that um, I want to look back on. And so here I didn't write on this day. So this is today's day, the 23rd of December. Um, and then I have my pencil board here, which keeps my date. I also have this bookmark here that actually came comes with the book. Um, and it is fraying. I do. I should have put nail polish here. Uh, by the time five years is up, this will be like completely tore up. Um, but I have to figure out something to do with that. But in the meantime, it's working perfectly. I use it almost every night, 90% of the nights. Um, and I cannot wait for um, next year. Oh, so for those who don't know how this works, um, basically, let me just come up a little bit. The way it works is you have your day here at the top and then they have the year here. So 2022, 23, 24, 25, and 26. And then um, basically when it comes time to for next year. So basically today I'll write in this section and I also kind of write here a bit too because there's extra space here. Um, so I write a bit here. And then um, next year, the year coming, I will write in this space and on this side as well. And then I'll be able to look at exactly what I did the year before. And so then I'll have like five years literally on one page, which is such a nice treat. And so, yeah, that is my, I guess I call my memory keeper, my um, journal in a sense. Um, I don't really put quotes in here. The quotes and stuff are for my, my commonplace, but this is like memory. I guess this is memory keeping then. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's how I use this. And I love it so much. This is probably my favorite, my favorite part of my, um, my collection. And so that is everything. Oh my God. 30 minutes. Wow. I'm so sorry. It's a super long video, but I did want to just talk a little bit about things in detail. If there is a um, planner or a journal that you want to learn more about, um, uh, how I decorate them, um, different things like that, let me know. I will be filming a dedicated video for this planner and this planner, this journal and this planner, excuse me. <laughs> um, I'm not going to do one on my commonplace just because it is, I mean, even though I showed you some of the pages, like it's not super private, but unless it's like a lot of um, demand for it I will but I don't really think that I don't really imagine that there will because Catherine again has a great video on how she does it and I pretty much use her method in terms of dividing the page in half dividing the page in half and kind of like writing on each kind of section differently so it's, it's basically how she does it um I'll try to find her video and maybe I'll link it below if if um she's okay with that but yeah that is my planner stack for 2023 um Will this be subject to change? Of course, everything is. I um, don't try to take myself too seriously when I set up these systems, but I do hope that the majority of them stay. I know that my memory keeper will stay. Gratitude planning will likely stay. My main planner will likely stay, um, but there may be a few changes here and there. Maybe I'll add something, who knows? Um, but like I said, in total, I have my commonplace notebook, my memory planner, Oh my god, I should start over. <laughs> so I, I keep saying planner instead of journal, which I don't think is correct. I should I should be like correct. This is my commonplace journal, my memory journal, my gratitude journal, my um, language journal, and then my app, my planner, my everyday carry, my um, to do list, everything like that. And so. There we go. That's everything. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I hope you have a great holiday. Happy New Year. Um, and stay safe as well. All right. Bye, everyone.